Hey, what's up guys? Um, I know I showed you a little bit of this before. I wanna kind of show you this again. Um, we're gonna go through and uh, see what the uh, lineup uh, creation process is like here for 1949, at least sort of the way that I do it. So um, I know I did this once before and people were telling me, oh, you should be using Trilogy and all this other stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you, Trilogy is a little bit complicated to set up. I haven't had the time to sit down and try to get it going because as usual, I'd rather play the games than spend all my time learning how to use um, third-party software. So we're just gonna do this using only Diamond Mine Baseball and using uh, whatever it is that I've come up with here. So here you go, this is a spreadsheet. I can't remember if I updated this the last time I did this or not. This is a spreadsheet I have that um, has every single team in the league and has uh, lineups um, for each team written out here as well as the pitching rotations, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I'm sort of making this up as I go, which is probably a little bit more realistic. And what we're going to do here first off is we're going to take a quick look here at the uh, reports, and we're going to look at the uh, team uh, batting reports, and that's kind of what we're going to uh, look at. So we'll get, generate a team batting report first for the Boston Braves. We're going to organize these players by on-base on plus uh, slugging, which is what I tend to like to use um, when I'm setting up lineups. This will give us sort of an idea of what it is that we can do. Now, if you really want to see the on-base plus slugging, of course, um, you have to go over here. It's under uh, secondary. For batters, it's under secondary, and for pitchers, it's under analytical. The reason why is really confusing to me. I don't fully understand this. There's some other problems here I've talked about before, like you can't – oh, you can, actually. You can double-click on players. So I can see that, you know, Rickard started a lot more than uh, Jeff Heath, for example – um, so we can keep that in mind when we're asking ourselves who we want to put in um, at left field. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go over here to the secondary screen because we have played appearances. Again, it would be really, really nice if this were more customizable. I guess it is kind of customizable, so we could take on base uh, plus slugging and put it over on the first screen. But again, I mean, it's going to take a long time to figure that out, and I don't want to have to do that for every single team. So we're just going to do it this way um, and sort of figure it out from here. Um, again, I mean, it would have been nice if uh, Tom had uh, thought that people would want to uh, look at both of these at the same time. But, you know, we could actually do that from this screen. Let's try that. Um, this will give us an idea of the sort of number of at-bats they have. There's a problem, though, because I'm using the uh, virtual um, uh, box. If I want to look individually at each player, I have to get the uh, spreadsheet out of the way because if it's in the way, it's going to end up behind this, and we're going to have all sorts of crazy messes. So let's see what we can do. So uh, what we have going on right now basically is it looks like we have uh, – is this actually correct, Stanky and then Fletcher leading off? I'm not sure. Maybe that this hasn't really been updated at all. So whatever. We're going to ignore what we've written down here. I thought I had all of this updated, but it's possible that I didn't. Um, so it looks like what we're probably going to have is Reeser in center field um, and uh, then probably uh, Ryan at uh, third base. Now, my guess is that when we take a look there at uh, Ryan – um, he has, what, 209 at-bats compared to Elliot, who probably has more. Yeah, he has 482. Bob Elliott was actually the starting uh, third baseman, and this is one of those places where we can make a, a decision. But, uh, you know, Ryan has been um, uh, playing a lot better here in the replay. This is where uh, you kind of choose how it is you want to do this. And, um, you know, I don't want to spend necessarily too much time looking up everything possible for every single one of these players, like everywhere in the league, right? I would rather just sort of go along with the flow and say, well, it looks like this guy's hot. Let's start him this week. And that's kind of what we're going to do. We'll have him hit second. Now, you could argue and say, oh, well, maybe we should have Heath instead hitting leadoff because of the good uh, on-base percentage. I don't know. I don't know. We could do one or the other, right? I do want to look this up really quick and see. I mean, Heath is able to play only left or right. Well, he might be a better player, though, to start and right than uh, Holmes. Rickard can play left, um, center, or right. So I think what we're going to do to try to get all these guys in is we'll just put Heath in there left and uh, Rickard at uh, right. And uh, you can see I should probably have these guys in a better order than this. That gives us a center fielder, left fielder, and a right fielder. We can look quickly at I want to see if uh, Reeser played anywhere else. I don't think that he did course clicking on anything will change it uh, thank you thank you very much this uh, this is not extraordinarily well designed i'm going to tell you that reeser could also theoretically play a third base but we have ryan there ryan could play um anywhere in the infield that we want him to so why uh, you take a look at this and say well maybe he plays instead of dark that's actually kind of an idea so we could put him at short put reeser at third and that will allow us to put um russell in at center Right, and then Torgerson will be at first, Stanky um, at uh, second, and that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need to add another L to your name, Russell. 
Um, and uh, what are we waiting? We're waiting on the sh first, second, third short. Left, center, right. We're waiting on a catcher, right? And then it would probably be Macy would be your catcher. Yeah, there you go. So this is probably like basically the way that I would figure it out, right? And instead of having this on here, I just sort of, uh, you know, do a little copy paste job. There we go. Um, I could write in the uh, first names. I probably won't because, um, you know, I don't want to be doing this all night long. But we could write them in if we wanted to, whatever. Um, again, it would be nice if the first name were written here. There's a little lack of consistency, but um, whatever. Then what we do is we go over to Roster Manager Profile, again, for the Boston Braves. And we have to go over here to the Save Lineup. And then we will put that lineup in. So this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to have to have this off screen because making any sort of click onto this will knock this uh, spreadsheet off the screen for whatever reason. We don't want to look at the number one lineup, which is more like what they used in real life. We're going to look at our lineup which is number three. And yeah, you can see we had Ryan uh, starting at uh, third base. So we're going to new def defensive position. We want Reese at third. We want Ryan at uh, short. Then we're going to have Heath in there. So we'll have Heath in here playing left, hitting third. And uh, then we're going to have Rickard in right. There he is. After that, we have Russell in center. He's already in the lineup. And then uh, Torgerson will uh, hit and uh, play first. So here is Earl Torgerson. Now you might wonder, you know, some of these guys maybe were not extremely regular in uh, real life. I'm not really paying that much attention. I know that Torgerson clearly was not. You know, it's okay. I figure that it'll probably work itself out one way or another. I mean, either the guy's going to go into so much of a slump, it's going to be obvious that we really shouldn't be starting him. And there is actually kind of a question as to whether Fletcher or Torgerson would actually be better. Torgerson... It's hitting a little bit better, but just a very, very little bit. They're very, very similar. So there's a chance that we may end up with a Fletcher in the end anyway. And then uh, it is Stanky at second base and Macy the catcher. And there you go. There's the lineup, and that's the way that we'll figure it out. And uh, it doesn't matter versus – I mean, that's for the computer manager. And then we just hit on a save manager profile, I think. Let's see here. Do I have to save here? <laughs> yeah, this is the interesting part. Let's see what happens if we move away. And, uh, yep, the lineup has been saved. So you do click on Save Manager Profile. The reason why, I, I don't know. Whatever. This is just the way that it works. And there you have it. That's the way that I do it. So um, we have reached, um, uh, I guess I can show this to you as well, instead of uh, showing you uh, the screen infinitely. We have uh, reached um, the point of the season in which um, we're done with another Sunday. And so what I do is after every Sunday of the season is done, I go back through these lineups and uh, sort of uh, sort things out and make sure that we have everybody where we want them to be. We'll see if that helps the Braves or not, since they've been on kind of a losing streak. They've been, uh, where is it, 2-8 and eight here in the last 10 games. So, you know, maybe this will help them turn it around a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. And we kind of go through every team and we make the same uh, alterations. And, um, you know, then I take a look before every game, see if guys are tired. And if they're tired, take them out. And, you know, just do stuff like that to make it fun. And this is a way that I make sure that the lineups are um, actually my lineups, not uh, just whatever lineups are generated. Um, and make sure that it's still kind of interesting for the uh, – uh, uh, or is that is somewhat realistic. So there you have it, and uh, we'll keep it there. I will talk with you later. Bye-bye.